Meet James Blanchard, a loving father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and Vietnam War veteran. He enjoys his time playing with his dog Spike. James is a retired lieutenant colonel, army nurse, and is 86 years old. Before I joined the military, I was uh, the first one to leave home. I'm, uh, I have a twin sister and we're the oldest of seven. Before I uh, went into nursing, uh, I graduated from high school and went right into nursing. And so uh, prior to that, we just had a big family at home. I got my draft notice first while I was still a student. And I got a, a, a deferment. So when I graduated, I thought I'd better sign up or I'd, uh, I'd come in as a second lieutenant rather than wait to be drafted. And who knows what you come in as. I decided we liked it. So I signed up indefinite then. We were not accepted into the Corps, and it took an act of Congress, really, to give men the commission. And then it was in the uh, reserve, Army Reserve, active reserve. It was just that some of the uh, older nurses, not all of them, but I met a few that felt that men had no business in nursing, period. I did volunteer. I was teaching in the Medical Training Center in San Antonio. We were teaching the uh, basic corpsmen, uh, getting them ready for Vietnam, giving them the basic nursing and so forth. And uh, I did that for almost five years. And then I, uh, although my wife didn't really appreciate it too much, I, I made known that I was interested in going. And uh, so I, I went over in 68, uh, uh, 69, I was in Vietnam. I felt like we were training all these fellows to go over, that uh, I'd like to join them, you know, have, have the experience too. So, uh, 6070 Back Hospital, and uh, my primary duty was charge nurse of emergency and receiving. And so, uh, this was a very, very active time. We were getting them off the helicopter, one right after another. And uh, I had to learn to uh, use the uh, telephone and walkie-talkies because I was in contact with the helicopter pilots as they were bringing them in. And uh, they would let us know when they were coming and basically what type of injuries they got. And, Sometimes we get as many as 20 at one time. Coming in, we had to work right over, cut off clothes and treat all their injuries. And, and uh, we lost a good share of them because they were just wounded so bad, we couldn't do anything. And that was the hard part. Do you think you had any exposure to Agent Orange? I feel as if I did because uh, uh, about eight years after I got back here, I developed Barrett's esophagus and a severe gastric reflux and uh, uh, these were some of the early symptoms of it. But when I applied for it, I was turned down because I was not in an area where it was sprayed. But the way I figured it, you were getting them right from the field and you were working over them, cutting off clothes and everything. So if they had it on their clothes, we certainly got secondhand exposure. There's a time they really didn't, I guess they didn't believe in that or something. On the way back, we had to change out of our uniforms into civilian clothes before we landed in the States. Because at that time, there was a, a lot of anti-Vietnam rallies going on. And, uh, but you know, we weren't fooling anybody. They knew by our haircut and our luggage that we were returning soldiers. And we were, we were spat at and things thrown at and hollered at. And uh, we never did receive a welcome back. And even, uh, uh, even for example, even my Bronze Star, uh, over in Vietnam, they, they pinned it on and took it off, you know. And they said, you'll be, you'll be presented it as your next duty station. 
with your uh, people you're currently working with. Well, that didn't happen because uh, uh, it came and uh, the supervisor, or the assistant chief nurse he was, came around and just handed it to me when I was working nights. This came in the mail for you and she handed it to me. No, it wasn't presented, nothing. It, the training was excellent, you know, over there, the experience was excellent because you certainly got trauma nursing that I use later. I worked in the emergency rooms at different hospitals otherwise, and uh, the trauma nursing experience was good. While we were there, the nation was against us, and uh, they're only now, uh, just in the last few years, we're getting a little recognition. You're a good old boy. Yeah, you are. You're a good old boy. <laughs>